All right, no dad jokes, no cold open. You've looked at the title, you've looked at the thumbnail, you know what we're doing here. Let's unbox this bitch! That's right, we are unboxing the Palace of Gems. Let's go. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna fight. I've got my hands on your body. Hello, Champagne Dreamers and Golden Girl fans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. I don't know how you found me, but I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around. My name is Janessa, and I am North Dakota's trash queen of glam, geek, and gore. And today, we are absolutely going to geek out about Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstones. I have three different videos on my channel already featuring the Golden Girl line, and I am so excited. I have been a collector for the last few years. I have loved it since I was a kid. I had all the female villain figures as a kid. And now in the last few years, as an adult, I've gotten into collecting and finding a lot of the merch and the, the dolls and the fashions and all of that. Well, I had a chance to pick up the Palace of Gems, and we are going to talk about it. Yes, we are going to get to the unboxing, but I was like, you know what? Let's let's make them wait a little bit. Let's tell them a little bit of the story of how this came to be. So as I've gotten into the collecting of Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstones, I'm not going to get too much into the line. Check out volume one of my Golden Girl videos to find out more about that. But I have been loving it, and because it wasn't super popular, it's actually fairly easy to find a lot of the toys in really good condition, if not in the packaging, on the secondhand market. So it was pretty easy to collect most of the dolls. And you know what? A lot of the accessories and the merch items, I kept finding really good deals and different things like that. But one of the things that was really a holy grail, I, for the longest time, for about two years, I never even saw this come up. I'm sure it did. I wasn't checking every day. I'm not that person. But... I really didn't see the Palace of Gems anywhere, let alone the Palace of Gems in like perfect condition still in the box. Now, I watched the Toy Room of Insanity video and he has talked about the fact that the plastic on the Palace of Gems is notoriously thin and brittle. So finding these in good condition can be a challenge. And I was bidding on one that was out of the box but was all complete and had the box. And I was going to treat myself, and that one I was like, you know what, I can spend up to maybe $600. I was bidding on it, and it was really close, and in the last few seconds, it went up to $1,350. So I didn't win that Palace of Gems. Well, flash forward to a couple of months ago, I see that somebody is listing a new inbox Palace of Gems on eBay. They are offering it for $1,000. $750 plus like $8 shipping, which is weird because obviously it's going to take more than $8 to ship that box, but $1,750 with just $8 shipping. Here's the deal. I know that I spend a lot on makeup. If you've seen my haul videos and things, makeup is kind of my happy place. It's my hobby, but I don't spend a lot of money on a single item like technology. Like when I had to buy a computer, I spent less than a thousand dollars. My camera that we film on is less than a thousand dollars. I've always looked for deals on cell phones to get them because I just buy, I don't do the like contract thing, less than a thousand dollars. So I don't buy big expensive treats like this for myself very often. And you know what? Where I work, I get a bonus a couple times a year. And I, within the last couple of years, got a promotion. And so it's basically, it's hard to explain. It doesn't really matter, but basically like, the stuff that you get on your promotion, you get more pay right away, but then there's also things that are divvied out over the next couple of years. And it just turned out that this bonus time was gonna be really good. And I was already doing responsible things. I was gonna pay down some debt. I was going to put a little bit towards my car loan, all that kind of stuff. But I was like, you know what? I haven't treated myself 
to something really big like this. Normally at bonus times, what I would do is I would go to horror conventions. And I haven't been to a horror convention since the pandy kicked off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to get this Palace of Gems. Well, it was still like two months before the bonus time. And so I was waiting and I looked at the auction and they didn't have a make an offer option. So it was 1750 or bust. And let me tell you, I favorited that and I was watching it and I watched it for two solid months. And I logged on probably every day, maybe every other day, but I was always watching and it was still there, still there. They turned it into a sponsored post. They like bought an ad for it. And I watched the number of watchers go up and up and up, but I was just watching and watching and watching. And let me tell you, when that bonus hit my bank account, that was the first thing I did. I went and I went to eBay and I purchased the Palace of Gems with tax and the shipping and all of that, the total was 1883 and change. So I had a little bit of a moment. I like bought it and then had a little bit of <laughs> like, I got the vapors for a second, but I was like, you know what? This is gonna be the crown jewel in your collection. But I'm not one of those collectors that like puts things under glass and all that kind of stuff. I buy the shit that I want to look at and touch and hold. And so I was like, you know what? I love that it's mint in the box. Let's take it out of the box. So we are going to get into this unboxing and then afterwards, I'll tell you the kind of troubled story about actually getting it into my possession. I thought we weren't even gonna maybe have the Palace of Gems for filming. I thought I was gonna have to maybe do a video about how I got scammed. It's a whole thing. So we're gonna do the unboxing now, and then I'm gonna tell you the troubled, ongoing story about the actual purchase. So let's get to the unboxing. Yes, Golden Girl fans, here we have it. The elusive, the illustrious, the unicorn, the Palace of Gems. And this is in pretty fantastic condition. Um, this box has not had any sun exposure. I mean, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So here you can see the front. And then if we flip, oh, we're upside down. But there you can see what's on that side. And then we'll turn. We've got, again, pictures of kind of the front and how it's played. And then we have down here, we have kind of the back side showing a lot of the accessories. And then if we go up here, we're reusing a lot of the same pictures. So we're not doing a ton of different like play action kind of shots, but we've got kind of the same picture here, this picture, and then this one also includes it shown all folded up. And then as we go this way, so here you can see we've got the Golden Girl logo in black and white. We've got a little rendering down here and then Enchanting Castle of Light and Power holds exciting secrets for all Golden Girl figures. And now let's go ahead, before we open this side up, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Can I uh, raise my hand and say something? Yeah. You don't open that side up. You don't open this side up? No. That's the bottom. It's, but it looks like it's got all the flaps. Yeah, the flaps like oh. that go on the bottom. <laughs> Those are the supporting things. <laughs> you don't want to rip it. You'll be ruining this perfect box. <laughs> don't open <Okay>. the side. <laughs> <laughs> So here you can see the artwork on the back is gonna give you the rendering of the playset once it's all put together. It shows off all of the different little accessories. It gives you a couple teasers for a couple of the dolls and the other toys that are sold separately. Um, but it tells you about like the jewel chest and the weapons rack and the water trough and all that kind of stuff. It shows you where the trap door is, the little flashlight. And so it gives you a nice kind of rendering of the product, but also tells you what all the little accessories are and where they go. So let's go ahead and open it, not from that flap that I showed you before, but from the actual, look, there's a little, look how easy that is. <laughs> so here we go. This has not been opened. Angie did open this and kind of blindly dug around to make sure that the letter wasn't in here. 
but uh, it was sent separately, but she checked. So it sounds like things are just kind of loose in here. So it may be a free for all as we open this, but all right. Ooh, we've got some accessories on the top. This is a blind opening for me as well. I have not opened this. I have not looked at anything. All right, so here are our flag poles. These are much bigger than I would have guessed looking at the pictures and other videos. Um, these obviously have stickers that are gonna be elsewhere in the package, but here's a couple flags. And we'll make sure we get close-ups of all this stuff laid out as well so you can see it. This is probably one of the things for the little, uh, uh, what would you call it? The little pergola thing at the top. There's probably a, the little dome. There's probably a better word for that. And if I think of it, I'll put it on the screen. We've got some little support beams. And then we have a big axe. Because when you're in your lesbian camping gear outfit, you just hunger for a big axe. Alright, so let's... This I can already tell is going to keep bothering me if I don't get it out. So let me just, this is the staircase. This is beautiful, but I can already feel, yes, this is very, very thin plastic. So I can see how this would absolutely, these little railings could very easily break. Um, even this little tab at the top. But you can see here's our little staircase to get into the Palace of Gems. So our next bag, we've got a couple of these. These are going to be, when you have it open, but you have, uh, it's not open all the way out. Um, these are kind of on the side so that you have little sidewalks so that you can walk across from one piece of the playset on top to the other. And it looks like here we have Golden Girls Table. Let's go ahead and... I thought you weren't going to do that. Put the legs in. I'll just put the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I have instructions to make sure but so it looks like this is Golden Girls table and then there's two little legs here um, we'll maybe put some pieces together a little later on but here we'll just show off what's coming out of the package all right we have some more pieces in this molded gold plastic this is the hitch and post for the horses for Olympia or shadow so there's a cute little hitch and post there that you can hook them up to. And then they can have a drink at the water trough. I know it doesn't necessarily, well, it looks like a water trough this way, but actually there will be a sticker that goes on top. So it looks like a little water trough. And then you can set the horses to just relax while the ladies get down to business. Oh yeah. What? Oh, you already have a broken piece? Yep. Uh-oh. We'll have to do some repair work then. Yeah, so when they say that this is really delicate, delicate plastic, they are not kidding. You might be able to see here, there are several spots where these little pegs have broken off. They are still in the bag. This was unopened, but even just moving around in the box, um, there's one, two, three, four, five pegs. This is gonna be the weapons rack, and so we'll get some E6000 and we'll glue those pegs back on so that we have a fully functional weapons rack. But again, in terms of like the delicate plastic, I can definitely see what people are talking about that it's very easy for some of this to break because these little pegs just, even just moving around in the box have snapped off. All right, so here we have Golden Girl's throne and you can see that the chair itself is molded in this gold plastic and then it has a little pink cushion, very 80s, very girly. There's a little plastic piece on there that we'll have to smooth off, but that just slides right in there and that creates Golden Girl's throne. I'm guessing there might be a sticker that goes there as well because that looks like it's a nice, a nice spot for a sticker. Otherwise, it's kind of oddly molded. Mm -hmm. 
Now we've got another bag with some of our action pieces. It looks like this is going to be that wall that opens up to reveal the secret room. The secret room is really just kind of a, a tiny crevice that maybe one doll could hide in. Um, and it just kind of slides open a little bit on the side, but here you can see there is that. It's got this nice molded detail that looks like Golden Girl's shield that's molded right into the plastic. And then it's got the two little pegs on top and bottom. So again, these are going to be... This brown plastic feels a little bit sturdier than the gold or the beige plastic. But again, any of these small pieces that could easily... You could apply pressure and break off, you're going to want to be... You're going to want to be really careful with those. And then we've got the two little jail doors. So these go in the bottom where there's that trap door. You can have somebody fall through. And then these are the walls of the jail. So you can see these are going to open like a door, but you can have them close so that they hold your prisoner. And then we have this little spear that just kind of fell out of the box. This was probably a couple of the bags have holes in them. Um, so it could just be that this fell out of a bag or something shifted. And uh, yeah, things are not terribly secure in here. So this is something that is apparently not opened and there's no like plastic wrap or anything, but everything is still in the bags. It still seems to be like new and sealed, but um, there does seem to be just stuff kind of loose in here. So that um, definitely could concern um, with collectors, the deterioration of things, they can kind of just move around. There's not a lot of shielding, but there's a cute little spear that you can add to your weapons rack. And then we have this fabulous piece. I do love this. This is going to be our little statue that triggers the trap door. So you can spin her and the trap door will fall and your prisoner will fall down into those little golden ring gates that we saw a little bit earlier. So here you can see she's kind of a beautiful, I don't know if this is supposed to be Princess Solara, if this is kind of a way of working her into the design. Um, I haven't really gotten into the lore stuff too deeply yet. So I don't know if there's an explanation for who this figure is with the wings, um, but I guess as we go along we will find out. And of course we are the guardians of the gemstones, so we have a jewel chest. So here is our little chest that we can put our jewels into. There's no jewels provided, but we might have a sticker um, when we get in and find the sticker sheets. Um, we'll see if there's actually a sticker, but this is a pretty cute. I loved treasure chests and pirate chests when I was a kid, so this would have been absolutely one of my favorite pieces of this. I love this. And here we have the torch that goes on top of the palace. I This is a flashlight. It is apparently a working flashlight. Um, I may look on eBay and see if I can find spare parts. Um, I'm probably not going to ever put batteries in this just because I know that these are apparently very prone to breakage and I want to make sure this all stays together um, and I don't want any corrosion from batteries or anything but I may look and see if I can find a spare one just to be able to see what it looks like but here you can see golden girl it says to open bulb one two three battery double a and so it tells you and then it gives you how to shift it on or off um, very cool 1985 it's got the date on there and this is a nice, feels like a nice sturdy plastic. I thought this might be thinner plastic, but this uh, flame piece actually feels like a nice sturdy, sturdy plastic. All right, and there you can start to see, there she is, the Palace of Gems. And underneath this flap, we have, ooh, our dome. This is our crystal dome. And so here you can see this plastic. It looks like a bird flew over it and pooped on it. <laughs> There's a little marking here, but nothing too concerning. And there are three little spots. So those things that we found earlier were the poles that are going to hold up this dome. Um, let me see if there's anything else under the flap. Nope, that is it there. Um, I'm a little concerned that we haven't run across any sticker sheets yet. I'm not sure maybe behind this, but let's go ahead and just pull this out and see if maybe the sticker sheets are inside. Holding on to this, I can feel, here's a gold piece that's just sitting here. This is the little vanity that's gonna fold down off the wall. Um, but it's very, very thin plastic. Um, and it's interesting that it already is assembled. So it already has the pieces together. 
So here is the Palace of Gems from the back. And here is the Palace of Gems from the front. There's one window and one window missing. Um, Angie, what's, is there anything left in the box? There sure is. Okay, if you want to start, so there we go. Oh, yep. So this window just popped off. Um, I find it interesting, and you can see that this just kind of was loose and popped out. So I will pop that back in, but before we get to that, we have some cardboard pieces and some stickers. So here you can see we've got some foil stickers. Those are going to be for the mirrors. We've got some instructions. These are all stapled together. We've got some cardboard pieces that are going to go into the playset. And uh, then we've got behind this, I believe we've got some stickers. Yes, yeah, so the water for the water trough. We've got the flags for the flag poles and yeah, some pieces. These are going to go into the palace itself. So let's go ahead. We're going to get things moved around. We'll take some close ups of the individual pieces and then we'll be back.
do have to go a certain way because these, then the back side is the golden girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, these stickers have dried out. <laughs> oh no! Lick them. <laughs> oh, you might need to get some spray adhesive or. Yeah, that's not a licky sticker. Oh, <laughs> dang! I know I was going to put all the stickers on here, but... Maybe we'll have to do that. <laughs> do that another time. Just a bad
Taking pictures of the streets here to keep them in mind. Getting ready now. There's a reason why we got to believe in this town. Dogs in every flying bullet. They are filling up the air. Couldn't catch us there now, could you? Dodging every flying bullet. We were bad to all of you. If you only really knew. Ooh, ooh, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do in the bus. Yeah, it's all about us. Don't you see, baby? A girl's gotta take a flight. Everyone's in a while. Leave no girl behind. See my girls in a. Where this is supposed to fit. Oh, like that? Does it see the little notches on the door? At the bottom of the door? Is it supposed to fit over that notch? No, it's too. Or under it? There's a lip here. Yeah, I, I can't figure out what that's for. Because this just clearly shows, like. Oh, yeah. It just like shows. You just this. put it into this space. But why does it have this flip here? Insert main. Why does it show this thing here? Were you not supposed to bend it? You have to bend it or it doesn't fit in that space. Oh. Oh, I guess it just kind of lightly sticks in here. Like, it doesn't... So those lips keep it wedged in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't they know children play with this? <laughs> yeah. I can see those paddles not lasting long at all. This is so... It's such a small little thing, and it doesn't... It's weird that in the picture, they ha it looks like it's meant to, like... Curl. Curl yeah. or clip into... Yeah. Hmm. But it's cardboard, so you, it, yeah, I think you just, and then, and we just kind of wedge it underneath, and then I suppose you could go and put it around the door, the edge of the door. There, it <laughs> just kind of sits there. This has the little broken piece, but yeah. basically it sits in like this and it does sort of sit still. Okay. So you do that and then you've got, it comes up here and just kind of does lightly it it? snaps oh. against Oof. that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to just zoom your little broken piece. <sighs> Steady cam. <laughs> What's this big thing? This big oh, yeah, I suppose we could do this. The the cardboard piece that is her. I think that's just a rug. Oh, fancy! So that's like a fancy rug. Oh my! Okay, look at that. Um, <laughs> She's. It should be a. Here we go. So people can. So they can wipe off their warrior boots when they come in the castle. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Is this shown on here, or are we just guessing? We're just guessing. Oh my gosh, and there's nothing on the back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So some of the instructions. It's so I guess I snapped this together probably too early, but. Ooh. So basically, what you want, I'm gonna take this off. Because 
I'm going to take this off. Ah, that's what you meant by snap together. Yep. Because there's a piece up there that this has to go into, and okay. then this will slide in the floor. Okay. Well, I wish you luck. So we have that, and then we line that up. There we go. I know. And that is our little secret door, and basically then... Oh, it's just a little... It just twirls around. Yep. So like you surprise, have... surprise, bitch! It's like a hiding spot, but you can only put, like, one person back there, and... Okay. Not for the claustrophobic. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So there's well, that. Flip it around one more time when you're done that. Okay. And I'll put this back on here. Okay. Fun, fun. One's basically done. Okay. Now we'll go over to this side. What are we doing on this side? We're going to put the jail doors in. Oh my word. Okay, so let's insert jail doors as shown because there's one side that has a z has an O okay. ring and one side that doesn't. So it looks like the one that goes on the inside so looks... the O ring's at the top. Yeah, the O ring's at the top of that one. Does that look like the O ring is at the bottom or does that look like it's not? That the looks o like it's the bottom. Let me see. How are, what's different with the shape besides the O-ring? the shapes of the things oh, are different. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, see, that looks like, that look. Mm, it's hard to tell. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, shoot. Let's see. So these are just two little nubbins. Oh, I think it's the long side. The, it's up on both sides. Okay. See, that's just a little nubbin in the floor. Okay. Whereas that's little things that those. The oh, okay. They go, go hold through. in yep. and then. Okay, you got it. Smart thinking. So, Smarts are coming out. So we go up here. And then you hold your breath as you snap a and peg into place. There. Yeah, and these don't really snap. These can just come right out. Oh, it's just when they lay down flat yep. that it'll be. Yeah, and then it's here. Okay. So then we take, again, put the long peg. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Put the long peg through there. And set it in there. And then you have... Stone so into. it's a jail that's very easy to escape, but at least it's got little doors and you Whoop. just have to make pretend. And so they just sit onto that thing. Yeah. So, so is it just the, oh, it's just the squared off. Yep, because then you the, fall from the trap door. Ah, uh, <laughs> sneaky. Into there. But these but can But nothing open. holds this and it just oh falls off. Yep. What the heck? Like there's no snapping at all down to the bottom? Mm -mm. Well, but we figured it out. Is there anything on the other side? I don't think so. All right, no. All right, so we figured out that if you actually do it the other way, then it holds them in place. So we put that up there, and then this actually snaps. You have to bend it a little bit, but it kind of snaps into place. And your door still moves, but they can't just immediately escape. Much better. Just a little bit more movement, a little bit more. And you can pick up your <laughs> pick up your thing. Yeah. They won't fall. Okay. Smart. Okay. Skmart. Skmart. Okay. Oop. Does it unhinge it? Okay. Oh, I think oh, you need a go. you need a golden girl to test it out. <laughs> okay, so there's the so when it goes that way, then it's really tight in there, so it just it's not falling automatically, but and then that'll actually close it back up. Again. But I think you also need a weight on it. Yeah, if you have something on there, that'll. So Michael Myers sneaking into the Golden Girls castle. Uh huh. And then oh no. Oh. <laughs> Ah, he's in jail. <laughs> okay, well, smooth. It's very smooth. <laughs> Keep my sisters tied. 
There is no way you can beat them My partner's in crime Dogs in every flying bullet They are filling up the air Couldn't catch us there now, could you? So our, our staircase definitely is in the way as we're doing other things. Um, and if you want to keep the sidewalk pieces on, it does mean that you have to keep the walls kind of in. So I can see how, like, as you're playing, if you're a kid, it's hard to access some of the... I can see how things could get broken, they could get knocked over. I'm going to take out the staircase so that we can look at here. Some of the things that I noticed, I, I don't really know what's happening with these. I'm not sure why these are not stickers. Um, because there's not really anything they plug in. They've got little notches, and the notches seem to sort of fit the bottom of the door, but they don't really sit on the bottom of the door, and, like, there's pieces that you bend here, but all they, all that does is sort of brace it against the top, and so these, I think, could have been stickers. There's little, there's a lip here, but I don't know why. I don't know what that is. It doesn't seem to... It must be part of the top piece. Maybe it's how the, the whole thing fits together. So that's one thing that um, definitely, I think, could have been probably done a little bit easier if these had been done as stickers. So you could just put them on and then you don't have to worry about losing these cardboard pieces that aren't really attached to anything. They just kind of sort of sit in here. Um, I think that would have made that a little bit better. Um, you know, if you want, again, if you want the sidewalk, you kind of have to keep these. And so if you want more access to this, you have to take these off. And these do kind of come off very easily, um, which is all right, except that, again, this plastic is so thin that I worry about those. If you're doing it kind of the wrong way, if it's at a wrong angle, you could break one of these hinges very easily. Um, we were missing 
this little piece was broken on this and I am able to get it to sit there and then I can kind of pop it down and it will stay, but it is just kind of, it just kind of comes out because it is missing that little um, peg there. And again, this is just something that it was broken in the package and I'm sure it was in a bag, but I'm sure it just fell out at some point. Um, so we didn't have that. So I just kind of braced that in there. Um, this is kind of an odd little compartment. I think it works. You could put one of the dolls back there, but um, in terms of like, it's a good hiding spot, I guess, but it is kind of awkward um, to fill that space, but I do like the amount of detail. I think that the amount of detail in this, especially for the parts that you play with, is just as good, if not better, than like Snake Mountain or Castle Grayskull for He-Man. Um, I haven't seen Crystal Castle up close. I do have Crystal Falls, but I don't have Crystal Castle. And I think that this is definitely more detailed. I like this little, this just kind of sits in here. These are the only things, these kind of snap in from what I can tell. And again, I don't want to hurt the plastic, so we're just kind of having these sit in there. These are a little difficult to get to stay. They're just kind of sort of wedged in there. But again, this plastic is so thin that we didn't want to force it. So we just kind of put them wherever we could get them to stay. Um, I think this would have been a little challenging for a kid to try to figure out. Like, these doors were pretty hard to get together and trying to like, the actual design on the instruction showed this little O part at the top. But if you do that, this little thing stops it from going all the way up and in. That's why earlier in the footage, we had done these parts through the top and they could extend in, but then these were just loose and just fell out. So if you want them to stay, you actually have to do it with the little O part at the bottom. And I, I don't know if one of them is supposed to be that way and one of them is not. It's, it, it's a little bit confusing. Now again, I do, I love this playset. I think it's very cool. I have no regrets but I do think it's interesting that some of these, you know, there's so much attention to detail and then to have these like such easy things to fix, you know, having it where this plastic is so thin that just even in the package, these little nubbins like snap off and some of it could be due to age, but also I think that this toy has, is notorious for things breaking and snapping and this, uh, whether the plastic is old or not, this plastic is so thin that obviously any of this sort of pink colored plastic is very prone to breakage. So that's definitely a concern, but I love it. I think it's very cool. I think that having seen this and knowing that concept sketch for a Dragon Queen playset, I am gutted that we did not get the Dragon Queen playset because this has so much attention to detail. There's so many interesting accessories and it's just so much more a part of a world like He-Man than the fluffy, girly, cotton candy world of She-Ra that I just, I really just wish we had gotten Dragon Queen's throne and her throne room just to see what they would have come up with because the level of detail on this is absolutely superb. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour. This is the Palace of Gems all unboxed. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> all right. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. I am drooling. I haven't even unboxed it. We're filming this before we're filming the unboxing footage. So I haven't even had a chance to get it in my hands yet. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. But let's talk a little bit about the purchase. All right, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love Golden Girl. I was so excited. Again, I realize it's extravagant. I realize it's a little bit nutty, but you know what? The only other Palace of Gems that was on eBay at the same time was almost double the price. It was on sale for 3,200 euro. And so, you know what? I was like $1,750. It's not a great price, but I don't do this very often. I'm not traveling right now, so you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's treat ourselves. It's only money. You know what? I am a proponent of rebuying your childhood of, you know, all those toys that you didn't have or couldn't afford or maybe just ones you had and loved. If you want to repurchase them as an adult, I am absolutely a fan of adultist toy collectors. I think that we're on this planet for so little of time. Let's enjoy it. So 
I hope you enjoyed getting to see this like unicorn product. You know, there's lots of dolls that show up. There's lots of fashions. The horses show up fairly often, but the Palace of Gems is kind of a, a harder to find object. And so I hope you enjoyed all the close-ups and the unboxing and the whole process. If you enjoyed yourself, then definitely leave me a comment down below telling me that. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up to tell me you enjoyed it. And you know what? If you are friends with Marcy Cooper and you think I'm defrauding her and stealing her money, go ahead and give me that thumbs down. I know, as of this filming, I still haven't figured out how to do it. I'm trying to get her money back. I am trying to do a good thing. But if you are just like, nope, nope, we're going to give you a thumbs down, that's fine. It is all engagement. The algorithm isn't a picky bitch and neither am I. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. I try really hard to make sure that I have at least one video a week, and sometimes, if you're really lucky, you might even get a bonus video. Ooh. Gemorific. Golden girl-tastic. Angie's rolling her eyes horrific. And if you'd like to chat, banter, or commiserate between uploads, all of my social media will be linked down in the description box below, including a link to my website, The World of Champagne at JanessaJ.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being on this wild golden girl ride. We are still going to have a part four of this video, which talks all about the lore, but I had to jump in with this little bonus video and show you an unboxing of this unicorn in my collection, the Palace of Gems. So I hope it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it to me. And until I see you again, bye. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so excited. I think it's fun seeing the illustrations like that. To just relax while the ladies get down to business. <laughs> <laughs> just keep the pets occupied while you're That's right. getting out of business. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to get a different angle on this one. <laughs> So you're going to keep sounding on this, right? <laughs> <laughs> slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> you know a slurp, slurp, slurp is going to be oh, in the video Oh, God, somewhere. of course it is. <laughs> Those are horses drinking their water. Horses, water. Hey, guys, I'm ready to tell you how we're going to get those gemstones protected. That's how she talks. Okay. I think Ruby <laughs> wants to talk to Golden Girl about the fact that Moth Lady is here to, um, you know, break out Vultura. I love how you're taking every single step. <laughs> jump! Oh, I would jump. She's a wild lady. She'd jump <sighs> those. There we go! What kind of crap is this? You're busy at your desk when these villains are breaking out! Whoa, Ruby's coming. Oh, no! Oh, body slam. She's She likes her wrestling. Oh, what's this? Oh, now are they making out? Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> Now they're making out. They're going to slip, slip, slip. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>